us out of Air Warriors 2 and the 1% Club. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are on your purpose. Hope you guys are following and conquesting everything around you. First with yourself, and then all the people around you as well after that. And under God's purpose. So I'm going to um, talk about an issue that Alberto and Harold brought up today. Why do we release? So before we do some shout outs, I have to catch up uh, with... Um, some of the shout outs and also the topics you guys are asking about. So I'm going to probably do that tonight. So I have a whole bunch of them probably starting tomorrow. Uh, Dr. Von Life's Investing. Thank you, my friend, Harold. Harold. Again, we got his topic today. We had one yesterday's factors. Uh, so hopefully we kind of covered that. If you have any more questions, let me know. 24-Hour Playboy. Thank you. Jonathan Snyder. How do you talk to others about SR? I think I addressed this in another video, but I think certainly... We realize we're not going to be, you know, we're not of the 99%, we're the 1%. So it's going to be difficult and a lot of people won't, will reject it straight out. A, because they don't believe in it or they don't think they believe in it. And B, they don't really want to do it. they rather just go ahead and release and they've been told all these pleasures, they've been brainwashed to the point of in this matrix of believing that it's okay to release all the time. And you're not going to have any kind of negative effect to it. Um, Antonio, thank you. Uh, Davey MF, thank you. The official page of Mo, a new describer. Congrat uh, thank you. Congratulations, I think. Thank you. Actually, I appreciate that. Thank you, my friend. So a new subscriber. Always happy to have that. Uh, TKO, thank you. Peaceful being. He wants me to go to TV. I appreciate that, Peaceful. Uh, <laughs> One day, maybe, maybe we'll do that. We'll see what happens. Uh, Jonathan Karine, uh, Karenja, thank you. Okay, release with your wife. You know, we talked about that, I think, in one of the ones that I had with marriage. I believe that, you know, your wife is a situation that you've decided under God to get married. And I think certainly you're going to release with your wife anyway when it comes to procreation. Of course, you have to. But the other, obviously, do you want to release with her? If there's a person you're going to give your energy to, obviously it's going to be your wife. Uh, now, a lot of people are not married and they're going out with people and they have to make that kind of decision. But remember, the multiple partners you have go, creates a situation where you go down that rabbit hole and now you're releasing all the time and now you're releasing the pictures and things like that. So when it comes to it, I believe having one person and if you want to release that person, that's fine every so often. Obviously, again, you're draining yourself to some level. And the woman wants you to do that. I mean, she, she gains a lot of energy and a lot of enthusiasm uh, and motivation when it happens. All you got to see is the situations after you have intercourse, the man will fall asleep and the woman will be revitalized up, up for a while. So it's not a, it's, a, it's obvious an obvious thing you can see, but you have to just kind of look at it and think about it. All right, so rise. How long does it take to rejuvenate? I think that you have to start the next day to try to do it. I think it takes 30 to 60 days my, myself to kind of get over a release that you might have. And I think you just have to continue to try to take it one day at a time. Remember, it's a lifestyle change, guys. It's a lifestyle, not individual. Uh, Drummer B80, thank you. Uh, Sam Muchkin, uh, what is a simp? You know, I, I talked about that, I think, once again in another video. A simp is just a person who basically ha is trying to get validation from others, and that governs their life. They're not an independent, masculine person. They're basically somebody who's giving their identity, their worth, everything to someone else, especially a woman, and you just can't do that. Uh, and Jammy09, you look younger. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. All right, so at four minutes here, let's talk about a topic Alberto and Harold had a good one. Why do we release? Okay, so so warriors, let's, let's think about this. So the reason we're releasing, and this kind of goes back to, I think, one of the comments that was made here before, um, one of the shout outs. So part of the problem we have is that we're listening to society telling us things. And I see this issue over and over again because... A lot of families have broken up. I saw this again yesterday with a young lady who uh, had, you know, their dad has passed away, but he was not a good dad. And he, you know, he probably abused his children, treated them meanly, all that kind of stuff. And so the woman is trying to find a man who's able to be the opposite of that. 
And it's very difficult in society to be able to say what a man and woman should be. If you don't read the Bible, if you don't read your religious text, if you don't really really realize what's going on, you're trying to kind of gauge and estimate what is a man, what is a woman. And this is where society changes the rules. And so what happened was society decides to go ahead and put a lot of things together saying, okay, this is what a man should be. And so now you got pictures of people out there talking about, okay, they should be more feminine, they should be more empathetic, they should have all these type of traits that are really unmanly. Yes, of course you can have some emotion, of course you can have a little bit of feeling here and there, but men have to be able to take charge of things, make decisions, take responsibility. They have no time for emotions and all these other types of things. If they're really truly a man, they're being the dominant leader, the lion out there. The lion's not being emotional and crying over little things and things like that. But because of that, the men who have been brainwashed and having no fathers in many cases, all of a sudden now are listening to media figures or people on social media as to being how a man should be. And in 99% of those cases, those people are not men either, and they're giving a false illusion or a false character. And so this person then takes and says, okay, this is the way that I should be, and they go down the wrong path. And they find similar people going on the wrong path, and all of a sudden now they're leading into a lot of negative types of behaviors that really create more feminine types of things. And one of the things that talks about this is the fact that watching, um, you know, watching images, even having sex every night of the week, or just multiple times with partners, basically is reducing you and a lot making you release and putting you in situations where you release. And also because society again is telling you that you need to release several times to be healthy. Well, again. Of course, people are going to release. And if you don't have any sort of strong background and faith and idea, you're going to tend to believe that. Now, in my case, I kind of just instinctively, because I had strong feelings towards the Bible and, and God and talking with God all these years, knew that there's something was wrong with this. And I just had that feeling. But you keep getting these messages over and over again. And then I get, you know, the interesting thing about messages is that no matter if they're right or wrong, if they keep sending you these messages, you're going to believe them at some point, warriors. And so you have to be careful of, of kind of separating out what the real message is and what the truth of the situation is. So when you're looking at trying to decide, well, should I release or not? The idea you're looking at is really figuring out, okay, what is the purpose of my release? Why am I releasing? Is it for procreation? Great. But if it's not for procreation, then what's the purpose? If you're trying to give energy to a female uh, uh, you know, partner, that might be reasonable for you. If you're giving it to your wife, that might be reasonable. But the bottom line is, why are we releasing? That's the key question here. And a lot of people are releasing because they feel like it's something in society that we need to do. You can't be a man unless you release. And this is so far from the truth, in my opinion, that a lot of people get to the point of saying, okay, well, Vigor Warriors, you're crazy because you're believing something that is totally the opposite of the norm. And that's who I am, Warriors. I go against the norm. I've gone against the norm all my life because I don't feel the norm is always correct. Most of the time it's wrong. Most of the things we think about in a society, to me, are incorrect. I don't do. I don't use fluoride toothpaste. I don't sit there and I, I take cold showers instead of warm showers. I've done a lot of opposite things because I feel like there is a not a, an orchestrated plan, but there's an issue out there where people don't want males to be strong. And I think you have to think about what is the purpose of all this. Is it helping you? Is it hurting you? And I think obviously when he talks about releasing. It's hurting you. It's not helping you. It's hurting you more than you think it is. And as time goes on, as you do more, more and more of it, you get into a habit of it, now it becomes a pleasurable thing to do. 
And obviously, when you see these pictures of intercourse and basic saying, okay, it's great to have intercourse and release, the man is dead tired and sleeping within minutes, probably, after they do it, right? And it's always funny to me, we talk about people who can last a long time, it's because they're not releasing. And because the idea is they're holding on to their energy. Now, you could certainly have intercourse, but many men can't hold, you know, cannot stop from releasing. And so now when you talk about that issue, all of a sudden now it becomes a popular type of thing to go ahead and release. And this is one of the issues. The other thing is that, in my case, it becomes a stress releaser. A lot of things going on in my life, and I felt, well, okay, this is a way to release stress. This is what I was told. Well, again, another one of these fallacies that I believed that I made a mistake with, and it's not. To me, it hurts you because I always felt that once you release, you feel guilty about it. This is why you know that you've broken your pattern. You know, this is what I talk about, and I think we'll talk about the SK Motorcycle had one talking about um, what happens here at Wet Dreams. You know if you've actually kind of broken your streak. And the reason you know that is because you know how your body reacts to it. If you have a guilty feeling, if you feel like I should not have done that, then that's something that you need to take a step back and say, okay, let's start again. And I did that many, many times. But if you're at night and all of a sudden you're sleeping and all of a sudden you, you, you release or something happens where it's an accident, you're not going to feel the same way. Now, of course, you're losing energy, but once again, you could argue there's an overflow of energy and maybe that's something that you can afford to lose. And I'm not talking, guys, about the fact that, you know, it's almost like, it's almost like you have, um, you know, a gallon of milk, I guess is an example, right? You might have a little bit of the top of the milk that can't fit the container and flows out. But the idea is you're still keeping as much of energy as possible. And that's the whole key to it. To keep as much as your energy so you can transmute that energy to succeed and do things. And there's so many benefits that we've talked about before. And so I'll tell, or I, you know, I, I commented yesterday that I had, I had con con congestion. And yes, I don't get sick very often, but the congestion hit me. And I'm not sure where it came from. But again... You know, I'm uh, back on the, you know, I, I keep going forward because the idea is that this retention continues to keep making you stronger. And whatever you end up getting, if you get, a, uh, if you get a cold, you get something or something hits you, you never know what happens. The idea is it can fight it. And so really, I've not missed a day of work for 20, 20 whatever, 19, 2000 or something like that. So the idea, guys, is that you're going to go ahead and have situations where you're going to fail. And I've had problems with monk mode myself at times. But the thing is, you've got to keep on the track. And remember, this is a lifestyle change. This is something you're doing for forever. Now, in my case, I'm 62, so I'm going to do it for a long time. I feel like I'm about 30, 35. And I'm glad you guys have made nice comments saying about how young I look. That's not the reason that I do this. Uh, if it is a the reason, the only reason would be is to basically say, so okay, you guys can do the same thing I did. You know, I'm no, I'm no better, no different than you guys. Warriors, you guys can do the same exact thing. It took me 47 years. In fact, you're going to be better than me because 47 years it took me to figure all this stuff out. Hopefully, you guys in your 20s and 30s are figuring out now so you don't have to suffer through all these situations that I went through just to realize that a lot of this stuff was nonsense and this matrix we have is nonsense and you don't have to release you know four or five times a day and that's what really was happening because I had all these conceptions about well it's healthy to release you want to you know uh, you prostrate all these things you want to do is you want to keep them functioning all these things going well well, I've been at a, uh, 1,100, almost past three years now of this, and I have not felt any negative. In fact, it's all been positive, right? And all through the, the whole situations, I've kept moving along, doing things, you know, a, a little bit of congestion, sniffles here and there. Yes. But the bottom line really is, is that, it, and, and, and part of that is because I have a strenuous workout as well, and I think I wear myself down sometimes a little bit too much as well. But the thing is, you keep pushing yourself. 
And as a warrior, you keep pushing yourself to the limit. Build yourself up uh, spiritually, mentally, physically. And you keep building yourself up. And if you have to knock yourself down a little bit to build yourself up, that happens. But you don't sit there and release energy because you're going to feel terrible. And I guarantee you that the benefits of holding on to your um, you know, energy is so much better than releasing. I mean, I had many years of releasing, and I could tell you that I went through a lot of depression times, loneliness times, all these things. And now I'm a lot more detached. I don't care about things that are happening with other people. Uh, I just move on. I'm doing my own. I have my own goals. I have my own things set up. And I have goals for the next 20, 25 years. And I'm 62, so that will put me up to the 90s, right? And we'll have to see what happens. But the idea is that you want to continue to have goals. It motivates you. It keeps you striving, and you're hungry. And what I mean by hungry is you want to continue to grow. You do not want to stay stagnant. When you stay stagnant, guys, you die. Anything that stays stagnant eventually dies. You have to have that strength and say, I'm going to continue to grow. Mental toughness. To say, I'm going to continue to grow and build, and I'm going to continue to get better and better every day. And part of that, then, is dealing with this whole idea of releasing. And you want to figure out why you're releasing. This is a key point. Figure out, why is it I'm releasing? Is it because I'm releasing stress? Is it because people tell me I should release? Is it because someone in my life is telling me I should release? Those things you have to kind of examine yourself. And as you examine yourself, you figure out, okay, what's the real gain I'm getting out of this? What am I getting out of releasing? You figure you might be getting a short-term pleasure, but now you're getting a, a longer-term pain and resentment. And that's what I had for years. So great topic. Thank you, Alberto. Thank you, Harold. I hope I addressed some of this a little bit. The, the summary, my friends, is as, you, as warriors... You have to stay on top and being a high value male, being a high masculine strong male who is a leader, who protects and provides. And you're dominant. And you expect dominant dominant people who respect your dominance in your life. And all the people should be submissive to you, especially in cases of women in certain types of things. And you need to have that type of thing. And if not, just move on. Do not allow that woman to dictate you. And once again, I have nothing, I, I, you know, I love women. I think women have lots of great things that they provide in relationships. Mothers are wonderful, but the man has to be dominant. And because of that, there's dominant energy and there's feminine energy. And I think you have to connect both of them together. Now, there's no reason why they can't work in harmony, but the idea is that the man has to be dominant. And you have to be dominant to be able to, uh, to succeed in things you're doing. Or else what's going to happen is a female is going to have to take over those roles and they're basically going to get rid of you to find a higher value male. That's what the females are looking for and it makes perfect sense. Females want to feel safe. They want to feel with someone that they can have children with, they can you know, be with all the time. They don't want some male they don't respect and they respect a dominant male. So they can be submissive to that male at the right times and that's important. All right, my friends, always leaving you with two things. First of all, every day is a new day to a great warrior. And you guys are all great warriors. And second, guys, to continue, we continue talking about this all the time because every day we have to deal with this evil force that's around us, temptation in society that manifests itself in videos and internets, all kinds of stuff in society, and people who have this notion that they want to make you less masculine. So because of that, we have to 